I often think about the moments in my life like marbles going into a jar. Every time I do something that brings me joy or happiness, a marble goes in. Every time I do something that I wish I could do over again, a marble comes out. Trust, joy and happiness is built one marble at a time. This simple tool is a way to track the ups and downs of daily life and is a great way to show how joy and happiness is all around us. So we just take the time to notice. But my marble jar has been rattled of late. It sort of came out of the blue. My marble jar was emptying. How is this so? I was leading this amazing life with friends, family, and adventure. But the moments that were sticking weren't bringing the same joy. It got me wondering. Around this time, I came across the work of Brené Brown, and she gave me a clue as to why I was losing my marbles. In her work, she talks about how society is focused on this idea of scarcity, this concept of never enough. I know for many of us here, we probably thought when we woke up this morning, I wish we had more sleep. Never enough sleep. For others, we never can be tall enough, never can be smart enough, successful enough, just good enough. I realised this is the world I'd been living in. I had friends and family all over the world, and the way that we kept in touch was by following each other online. But instead of simply following each other, I noticed when I was looking at their pictures, their updates, I was thinking, why wasn't I doing that? Why wasn't my life like that? There goes another marble. Every time I thought about how I stacked up, my marble jar was emptying. As I made this realisation, I started to scratch away at the surface of this idea. And I realised, as a society, we've forgotten how to value the ordinary, those small moments of joy that make us feel like we belong. And instead, we're constantly striving and searching for the moments that go beyond the extraordinary. By its very nature, it's pretty hard to compare yourself to extraordinary day in, day out. As I grappled with this further, I began to wonder, how are our children, our students, able to manage this new reality? Are they able to realise when they see their friends' updates, celebrities' profiles, that that is the extraordinary, a curated version of reality? I'm guessing they're struggling with it too. I know I am. When you look in the, at the media today, this generation is often labelled as self-centred and narcissistic. Is that a surprise? It was our generation, us right here, who created this reality for them. This world, we don't value the ordinary. We're the generation who looks for this perfect life. Like John Lennon said, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. How can our children measure up to this new reality? How can they fill their marble jars? Never popular enough, never funny enough, never happy enough. Luckily, during this journey, I've had two people to keep me focused. My wife and I are raising two children into this world, and we often wonder, will they be able to see their marble jar grow? I've realised, as a parent, an educator, and a member of this society, I need to play a more active role in helping our children see the joy in their own lives. The joy in the small moments that make them and those around them feel like they belong. Hopefully, through these experiences, they'll be able to see through the veneer of social media and will be able to see their marble jars grow. Of course, there'll be times when marbles come out, but if they are able to treasure those moments that bring joy and happiness to themselves and those that they love, surely their marble jars will be overflowing with memories and moments. I think it's time for all of us to look at life through a new lens. We need to look out for those little moments of joy that happen every day. While they seem small, they do accumulate quickly. And I'm sure we all can agree that these are the moments that make us. I invite you all here to keep an eye out for the ordinary. Like Voltaire said, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Thank you.